Alrighty, boob tubes, another one of Heaps Creeps. So the fallout continues from uh, George Galloway's uh, Democratic <laughs> uh, election victory in the Rochdale by elections. Um, and uh, it's funny, democracy scam suits people when they, they get their man in. And then when they don't get their man in, the British politics is wrecked. <laughs> now, I want to say British politics was wrecked last week when Keir Starmer and the Speaker sabotaged, sabotaged the will of the people in the Parliament to get an immediate ceasefire inside Gaza. So let's have a wee uh, listen to George Galloway. You like him or loathe him, he's always interesting to listen to. And he touches on the farce that happened last week. And this is the most accurate description of what's happened I've heard anywhere. Nobody, nobody, apart from George Galloway, is willing to talk about what happened last week. Galloway spoke to our deputy political editor, Sam Coates, who started by asking him what he plans to do when he first Poor gets to Westminster. What's she done to your face? I'll be uh, using such parliamentary skills as I have uh, acquired over the best part of 30 years in six previous parliamentary terms. I'll be using such gifts that God gave me as a speaker, as a debater, and I'll be speaking for millions of people who feel that they're not being hurt by the British political class, or the journalists yep. for that matter, uh, that their earnest feelings of anguish about what's happening in Gaza is being ignored, or worse, distorted into the kind of Islamophobic fervor uh, which the political class and much of the media has been whipping up over the last few weeks. Do you think that Keir Starmer does believe that there should be a ceasefire in Gaza? If, if you believe it, I've got a bridge in London I could sell you going cheap. Nobody believes it. If he, if, if he really did, he wouldn't have wrecked the... I used the word sabotage, but wrecked. Very similar. The SNP uh, motion in the House just a, a week or so ago, he would have backed the SNP's motion. Or better, he'd have called a debate himself and put his own motion down. He didn't do any of those things. He preferred to force the Speaker into a monstrous manipulation of parliamentary conventions. Ne uh, again, this is the most accurate description of what's happened last week you go like god knows that the, the majority of the press are talking about oh we're scared for mps because big bad brown people are going to come and kill them <laughs> they've spun a parliament getting usurped a fucking sabotage of the procedures protocols fucking hundreds of years he went against the clerk and everything uh <laughs> And they've spun it into, oh, we need to worry about the MPs. Uh, and cause the scenes that you all saw in the House of Commons. No, he's a phony. Uh, he's doing everything that he can to protect Israel from the righteous wrath of the international community and the people of Britain. I'd love to crush the Labour Party. <laughs> I see it as my mission in life. I, I don't know if Sky will allow me to quote Malcolm X, but the difference between the wolf and the fox is this. The wolf is quite clear about its intentions, and as it comes towards you, you know what it's going to do. The fox, on the other hand, looks like it's smiling, looks like it's friendly. That's the difference between the... <laughs> Got to love what you say, ...conservative man. party and the Labour Party. And so my ire against the Labour Party is for precisely that reason. The Tories don't pretend to be friends of the people. The Labour Party does. If you're really asking me what should be the final uh, state of affairs in Israel-Palestine, well, my, my position is quite well known. I think there should be one democratic and secular state between the river and the sea. And if I was doing their marketing, I'd call it the Holy Land. Yeah. So you don't want Israel to exist? I, well, no state has a right to exist. Not the Soviet Union, not Czechoslovakia, not the Zionist apartheid state of Israel. I believe that the best solution for everybody is, as it was in South Africa, 
freed from apartheid, a democratic state where white people and black people, Jews, Christians, Muslims, live as equal citizens under the law. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, so the, the melt, the melt. In fact, let's just have a wee shifty and see how uh, they follow that up. We melted belly boot face. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Man. Well, we are expecting to hear from Sir Keir Starmer later this morning, so we'll no doubt right. hear That's his response uh, to some of those allegations we heard there. Uh, well, joining me now is Director of Political Analytics of YouGov, Patrick English. Morning to you, Patrick. Um, did you predict the size of the Galloway win? Good morning. Uh, no, so by-elections are not something that posters, well, the vast majority of posters will uh, predict or forecast as they are subject to very specific local factors, very specific local variations, and it's not something which a, a, a poll in the traditional sense could tell you anything about. Uh, and this by-election... Right, I've heard the good parts, what George Galley was, was saying, so um, <clears throat> that's his position, that's what he's going to bring out in Parliament. Uh, he, he definitely, he knows what happened uh, last week in Parliament. He's the first person I've heard uh, on mainstream media. Even people in the so-called alternative media and all that, all the truthers and shit, are fucking heads up their arse with, with regards to what's happened because nobody's going to explain it to them. You actually have to uh, dive into it and try and understand it for yourself. You can't just listen to fucking sound bites and repeat them. You need understanding of what happened. And what happened was our parliament got usurped. The, the people, people who don't want a ceasefire in Gaza, shat themselves because that was going to be put on the table in the murder of all parliaments um, and they fucking fucked it up, sabotaged it. Uh, George Galloway uh, said that Keir Starmer put pressure on the speaker and wrecked it. Where's that pressure coming from? Hmm? Who's he serving? Certainly ain't the people. Well, I've seen 75% of people in the UK wants an immediate ceasefire. Where's the representatives in parliament? Well, they're there, but they ain't getting listened to. Get it? Got it? Good. Cat cheese. No cats or cheese. We're harmed in this filming. Keeps clips. And remember, citizens, always subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. And 9095 plus shipping and handling will keep you out of hell.